Hey guys, it's me Ridhvika and welcome back to Purple Glimpse. So in this video I'll be sharing how to be productive while having a social life. So this is by no means a proven thing or anything. It's just the things that I do to maintain my grades while also doing all those things that young people do. Before we dive into the topic, it's important that we know why we should have a balance between studying and having fun. We all know that studying is important for our future. but so is having all those fun and those memories but think about it like this 2 years or 6 months from now on you have all those memories and you had all those fun but you don't have the grades you don't have what it takes to get into your dream college or your dream job or your dream place to live you know and your parents have to work harder so that you can go to these colleges and things does that hurt having the memories but not the grades and now having good grades in school doesn't mean we are smart it just means we are trying and trying alone is by no means a small thing so this year i am in 11th grade and i am studying in the same school that i did last year but everybody and everything is just so different i used to believe that everybody in this generation had a dream like a big one but the past one month proved me wrong and i realized that not everybody strives to be better and that dreaming alone is a very big thing not everybody is capable of doing it and they don't want to do it if you are someone who dreams who dreams big you are amazing i just wanted to let you know that so if you are here because you want to be better not because you are not enough already but rather you love yourself so much that you want to become better this one this for you so the first thing everybody has to do is to get their priorities straight for example my first priority is my studies and my second priority is my youtube and thirdly it's my family and close friends Now I can think that I'm selfish because I kept my family and friends as third priority but there is the importance of balance I'm not sure if this is the right way to put this but studies and YT is more like um, how do I say it quantitative but relationships on the other hand is qualitative does that make sense What I mean is studies and YouTube those are the things that I have to constantly put in efforts into if I don't you know constantly upload my views will decrease and if I don't study my grades will you know go down but relationship on the other hand that's personal other two are professional things those are the things from which I can easily you know I have I will have this tendency to get away from that task but relationships are something that makes us better feel better so these kinds of things where you'll need to put in extra efforts you have to give them extra priority as well so that you don't mess up but also remember that it's always give and take if you're not there for your family or friends they are not going to be there for you so just you know be there for them and they'll be there for you It's actually not about giving something more importance or something less importance. It's rather balancing. The second thing is to realize that not everybody is your friend. When people say cut your friend circle and make it smaller, they don't mean it like, you know, shut yourself off and maybe talk to two people. It's just that know who is your friend, your close friend, your classmate, your neighbor, or just someone you know you know getting a clear line between these doesn't mean that you are rude or you have to be rude it's just more healthy there's actually more to it and i'll share that when we are on the fourth or fifth tip there is an arabian saying which goes like do good deeds and throw it out in the sea which means do good deeds and just forget about them just help people and forget about them some people are going to help you back but some aren't your judgment about people can be wrong you can be wrong just accept it and move on generally just be nice and kind to everybody but not everybody is going to think that you're nice but still try your best so the third one is to have a productive time now for some people it might be morning and for some it might be night for me personally it's morning 
even though right now i am having a hard time waking up early in the morning because of the coldness and rain which is so comfortable but still if i wake up early in the morning i'm going to get it done you know that is the confidence that i build over time by doing it over and over again and the way to get this confidence is to do what you say you will do guys i am so hungry and i want to eat this my so over the years i've trained my mind to think that if i wake up early i'm going to get it done like even though actually waking up is hard if i wake up i'll do it just like set a time like that for yourself and in this time you're not allowed to communicate with other people like no texting no calling if you wake up at 5 am you do your things by yourself not with someone else now there might be people who prefers to do things with other people but you know that's going to distract you but sometimes it's good but on a daily basis i think it's important that you get comfortable with yourself and you you learn to do things alone that's going to help you and benefit you and that's definitely going to make you more productive and also your phone has all these built in features for you to be productive like do not disturb mode focus mode that kind of things just make use of it i do it and it works actually it's not only about the phone and its features you have to feel that way too you have to you have to cooperate with your phone okay and one more thing i don't know about iphone but samsung phone ka focus mode is pretty great i use it a lot and it helps and works so before we move on to the fourth one let me go grab something to eat because i'm damn hungry it's been hours since i started shooting so the fourth one is how to be productive on school days and the answer to that is to break your day into three chunks something like you know morning school evening or night i'll show a picture of what i mean here or here as i have mentioned my productive time is morning so i try to get my things done in the morning itself like those things which need extra efforts like studying on a daily basis that sort of and my morning will end at 8:30 am which is when i leave for school that is the second time which is school that is from 8:30 to 5:45 or 6 that is the time that i spend in school that is where i you know listen to classes take notes socialize with people of my age and also some extra curricular activities that i do in the school then there is evening which starts at 6 pm and you know that is the hardest time for me to be productive and that is also a time where i am really exhausted after a school day so you know there is no use pushing me to study at that time most of the days and that is more reason why i have to do things in the morning itself is the time when you know mindless scrolling gets to you when you're exhausted and you just want to lay in your bed and we'll have this tendency to just take your instagram and scroll 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 so you know what you can do is other than pushing so much to study and not studying you can rather do things that you love like you can maybe cook something for you to eat or you can read a book or you can play some games you know just something that you love to do i generally only study at night if i have a exam tomorrow or i have a big work which i can't get done in the morning yeah that's not a good habit but that's because i'm a morning person and if you are a night you know person this routine could completely be different and you just have to make it yours the reason breaking your day into chunks can help is because you know uh, when your morning is in productive you know that you have two more chunks you know you can make your school productive or you can make your evening productive and if your school didn't you know it wasn't so productive you can make your evening productive like that and it also helps to plan better plan your routine and your you know do list everything better now the fifth one is if you think something is a distraction just cut it off now i know that it's really hard to cut something off which you know isn't that good but you loved it 
and also that might be a habit and you know the best way to get rid of an habit is to replace that habit instead of just completely you know cutting that habit off and now if you are talking about social media for me the most interesting one is instagram because that is where i waste my time a lot it's also amazing sometimes but at the same time nothing is good when it exceeds a limit you know i'm a person who deletes instagram very often like whenever i feel like the app is taking up a lot of my time it's a good thing actually even though you know after 2 3 days i'll get the tendency to you know reinstall it it's still good but sometimes i last one week or two weeks i have even lasted three weeks as i'm a content creator i can't you know take too much time off but still so the reason why many people can't last more than a day without instagram is because you know they have this fear of missing out everybody on social media have this fear on missing out if i you know log out from the app and just take off what if i miss on very important things or what if i miss that important text from my friend but one thing that i've heard somewhere which still stays with me is that this is not exactly how it is but you know how it is whenever we log out from these kinds of app we feel like what if something important happens what if someone important texted you an information but the thing is if it was important they would have texted you in your number and if they don't have your number it wasn't important in the first place they were in close so if they were close they would have had my contact number and they could have texted in that if they didn't have my number that means we were in close which means they didn't have anything that important but you know deleting instagram and in reinstalling it after 3 days is better than doing nothing about you know your actions just doing nothing and just mindlessly scrolling it's better than that So these are my personal tips and I don't know if it helped you guys but I just wanted to share this with you. So yeah. So this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.